these are a game changer. Let me tell you, two tablets per hive, well, per deep super, um, and you are in great shape. These things are fantastic, very compact. They're not powdery, they're not coming off on my fingers. I am gonna wash my hands, but I didn't need to use gloves. I didn't have to worry about getting powder everywhere, and there was an exact dose each time. Hey, bug farmers, welcome to Bug Farmer Beekeeping, where we dive into the world of apiculture, beekeeping, and bees every week. This is the place to share laughs, explore bees, and learn together, all without taking ourselves too seriously. To join our buzzing community, it's easy and it's free. Just hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's cultivate beekeeping knowledge and fun together. Now, let's get into the bees. All right, so I can tell you that I'm pretty certain that I'm not gonna make friends with the bees today. I'm gonna be drilling holes into their hives. Okay, those are the tablets. I'm gonna show you these really quick. All right, these are the one gram tablets of oxalic acid from Mike's Bees. Now, two of these per deep super or deep uh, brood box is pretty much what you need. So I'm going to be using two of these in each one of the hives. Now, I am also going to be using the powdered variety as well, but we're going to give this a shot. So I guess the first thing I need to do is turn this thing on. It is set for 448 degrees. Uh, right now it's reading 81, so I guess it's 81 degrees outside. It's pulling the ambient temperature. This thing heats up fairly quick. All right, from this point forward, I'm going to be incognito. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, my mask on, my veil on, drill the hole, plug the front, give them the OA, and then move to the next hive. Now, if you remember, this hive right here, no queen, barely any bees, that hive's being removed. We're going to skip this one. There's too many bees on the front right now. I'm going to have to get a bigger way to block that, that entrance. Let's go right here. All right, I've got my bee jacket on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my gloves on and really hit these big hives right now. I, I'm just not gonna do it unprotected because I don't wanna get stung today.
Make sure it's not been propolized. Oh, it has. Actually, this one's working out pretty good. Just in case they've propolized it. Oh, they have not. That's a beautiful hole there. All right, so this is the last hive, and I want to make sure that you understand if this is your first time treating with oxalic acid, how to know when you're done vaporizing the, uh, the oxalic acid that you would actually put in the device. You can tell by the temperature on the device will actually start to build. So once you uh, drop the oxalic acid, you're going to notice the temperature on the device decrease, and it's going to continue to go down. Once it hits bottom and rebounds and starts going back up, that's when you know you've pretty much uh, used all of the oxalic acid in the chamber. At this point, you can notice the temperature is building back up. When it gets back up to 440, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and know that it's done. All right, well, there you go. The end of another adventure. And I had to put the hat on because I'm soaking wet. I'm just uh, covered in sweat. It is, it is not that hot outside, but let me tell you what, it is humid. Humid. Now, a couple of game changers this year. First, I want to give all recognition and praise to Mike's Bees LLC. You can find them at mikesbeesllc.com. I believe they also have a YouTube channel and I know that you can buy their, pro their product, their Easy Ox. 
you can buy this on most beekeeping supply websites. I've seen it out there. Um, this is a game changer. I don't know about the powdered variety yet because I tell you what, I planned on using them both today. But I'm when I rebuy this stuff, I'm buying the tablets. This is fantastic. They're pre-measured to one gram. You grab a couple of them, you drop them in, you go to the next hive. You grab a couple, you drop them in, you go to the next hive. Game changer. I didn't have to get my hands into the oxalic acid. They're nice firm tablets. They don't leave residue or powder on your fingers. Um, I am going to wash my hands though when I'm done. Um, but I'm not covered in this stuff. It is a great way to give a precise dose. Each one of my hives out there got two grams, and these are one gram tablets, so each hive got two tablets. And I still have a handful left. I mean, I've got some more. I will use these on the next treatment. I will be using this to finish up the treatment here, and I am going to buy some more tablets to do the treatment over at the farm. So that is game changer number one. Again, mikesbeesllc.com. You can also find Mike's Bees on YouTube, and you can also find Mike's Bees Easy Ox product in most beekeeping supply houses. I've seen it out there uh, on the web. You'll, you'll, you won't have any trouble finding it. I highly recommend it. Um, so that's number one. Number two, this right here. Now, I know this is expensive. I, I get it. Trust me, I get it. I don't like to spend uh, any more money on this hobby than I have to. But this is a game changer. I don't have to worry about a cord. I don't have to drag it around. This thing vaporizes the oxalic acid extremely fast. I'm just, I'm dropping tablets in there, you know, three minutes per hive and I'm moving to the next hive and I'm just zipping around the bee yard. I started out with a 20.7 volt charge on this battery. I just did the entire bee yard and it's only down to 19.2 volts. And uh, you can tell because I show you right there on the back. Now, Another good thing about this thing is is it builds its temperature back up quickly when you drop the oxalic acid in there It will drop the the temp on the back down to about 420 degrees 421 And then that's when you're done vaporizing it, it will instantly build back up to your set temp mine has been my set temp was 448 and it built back up to that quickly. So that is fantastic um, Overall, I'm extremely pleased with this thing. I know that it is going to serve me for years to come. Um, so if you have the opportunity to buy an Instavap, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Now, I'm sure there are other ones out there on the market, but uh, you know, comparing this to my, my um, Vapor, well, I don't know what it was called, the Vape Pro that I'd been using where I plug it in, it totally changed the game. I would still be out there doing the oxalic acid treatments if I was out there trying to plug it in and drag a cord around. Um, this this made it so much easier this year. So there you go and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. See you later.